I have to tell you, I'm super excited. Today we are here for the official launch of a truly groundbreaking project entitled Opioids Don't Discriminate, An Interactive Journey. This interactive event challenges our assumptions about addictions specifically related to opioids. The characters of Max, Natasha and David are fictional, but the journeys they speak to are real life experiences shared by people who have been impacted by opioid addiction in our community. The effects of the opioid crisis are far reaching. It cuts across communities, including in the suburbs, rural areas. It cuts across age groups, young people, older people, seniors, and generations. On average, two people a day in Alberta die of apparent opioid overdose. Last year, Alberta lost more than 700 people to this crisis. My story always starts here with our son, Danny. Danny died from accidental fentanyl poisoning in 2014 when he was 25 years old. One of the greatest barriers to providing more effective supports is stigma. Stigma, shame and fear prevented people from reaching out for help. Many people who use opioids fear being judged. But as a society, we need a paradigm shift away from treating substance use as a criminal justice problem to approaching it as a health and indeed a human rights issue. Because criminalization is really the most extreme form of stigma. In Alberta, drug poisoning has become the most common cause of death for men under 40, ahead of traffic fatalities or suicides. Opioids is a crisis that uh, Anishinaabe people, Nihua people, Indigenous people know all too well. I've buried family members, um, and I've had to go give last rites to lots of, uh, lots of my people across Canada. And the pain that it brings to people, it sticks with you. It stays with you. Um, I've seen people as young as 13 years old being addicted to Oxycontin. In order to make a dent in this crisis that is impacting and killing so many, each of us needs to be a part of the response. And it's our hope that this interactive journey will prompt a new way of thinking that moves us from addiction to connection, from isolation to inclusion, from stigma to compassion, and from shame to acceptance. It's one of the many creative initiatives that are being implemented that show the true face of the opioid crisis. And the true faces are the faces of our loved ones.